Hey everybody, my name is Joe. Uh, also Joe is here, but he's still getting ready. He'll be here in just a second. And until then, I'm going to get started. One, how you doing, Rob? Good to see you, as always. Or, you know, good to see you in the chat. So today we get to take on our first motorcycle racing game. It's called GP1. Never heard of it before. Made by Atlas. Um, I mean, that's just a real picture of a dude on a racing bike. And I doubt that that bike actually has the Atlas logos on it. Or GP1. My guess is that's all superimposed later. Uh, but, I mean, you can't complain. It's a real picture. It's not like it's bad art or anything. It's a little disappointing sometimes, but it is what it is. Back of the box here. Let's see. Enjoy the thrill and challenge of International Motorcycle Grand Prix Racing at Home. Race against the best riders in the world, blah, 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 blah. This sounds like it is going to be just the same as those F1 racing games. It's a simulation game instead of like an actual like arcade style, unfortunately. Getting real tired of these, actually. Um, I'd much rather play an arcade style racing game. But everybody uh, back then seemed to want to make these like tune your vehicle and be specific and do really good and pain in the ass is what it is. It's not fun, not to me. But looks like it's a third person from the rear uh, perspective. Pretty much every motorcycle racing game was. That being the Road Rash series, the only other <laughs> motorcycle racing game I know. Looks like six machines to choose from, and you can change things like front suspension, and engine, frame, etc. It's grossly cold here. It's really. I am cold blooded. Well, I need to pop my back. Tough. Oh my gosh. So I don't know. Only two screenshots of in-game play. Doesn't look much worse than Road Rash, so can't really give it poor marks on that yet. But we do have a manual. Ooh. If I can, come here. Uh, there it is. Come on, up this way. Let's see. Introductions. Uses controllers. There's a demo at the beginning. Tile screens. Mode select. A lot of screenshots in here, which is nice. Uh, this explains to you the race, the final race of each one. You get a rank. You win money. You can practice and tune up your bike. Uh, you get a course selection. So here's your machines. There are six different bikes to choose from, which have different ratings on suspension, engine, and frames. And you get to pick one of six mechanics who is uh, equally has a rating on the stats of suspension, engine, and frame. So you'd want to try and pick one that works together well. Uh, so maybe if you know you, you pick this first bike here. that's normal, good, good, you might want to pick. Uh, you know, maybe Lewis, you know, he's excellent in suspension, so maybe he'll improve your suspension. And he's normal with engine and frame, but since your engine and frame are good, it should be okay. Here we do get a quick uh, overview of all the courses. These are actual race courses in the world. Apparently GP1 is basically F1. It's, you know, an actual international race set. All right. So this is... Uh, from the back of the box, this sounds, since you were in the other room still, sounds a lot like a simulation Formula One game, Gross. but in a motorcycle game. That's what I said. I was like, God damn it. I just want to play an arcade-style racing game. Is that so much to ask? Mm. But apparently it Can't is. get comfy. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. I have so much blanket. Okay. Don't, don't be such a wuss and don't need a blanket. I'm cold. Grab the controller. Find our game. Get this started. Let's play this thing. Hey, look, I finally got the virtual boy. <laughs> What's this called? Oh. GP1. Now it should be on it. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm kind of tired. You're always tired. Ever since you got an actual job. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? I'm just always tired in general, and then that didn't help. Also, I have a hangnail. It's really annoying. Cut it off. Like, as I tried to, like, pull it off, it just ripped up. And so I'm not going to pull it anymore. That's pretty good pixel art there of the engine. It doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't look bad at all. Oh, this is going to go through the different bikes, apparently. I wonder how different they look, or if it's just different colors. That's kind of what I was wondering, too, whether there's, like, designs or whether it's just a, a palette swap, basically. Yeah, 
It's weird that they chose to focus just on that piece for the intro there. Yeah, it looks... Well, it's two-stripe color instead of three. It's basically a palette swap. I don't think the bike looked any different. It's giving me Mario Kart music vibes. Yeah, music's decent so far. Not that that's hard to achieve. Okay, looks like we can only change sound settings. Um, well, shit. Huh. Oh, there it goes. I was like, the video capture isn't pulling sound, but apparently the menu there that you were in just had no sound whatsoever. <laughs> All right, let's get started. You went back into the menu. My bad, I thought white was highlighted. Yeah. All right, so GP is one player, and one versus two is obviously one versus two, and then you get practice, so. Let's, yeah, let's just get out of here. Let's start with what we want to see, you know. We want to see actual racing hands yeah, play each other. Just, yeah, it's basically the same by palette swaps. Let me choose... Menu music's not bad. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, say so pick a simple one, Jesus. I'm gonna need to start with some nonsense for a million career. Look at that. Bonkers. This one and this one seem to be the simplest. I'm on board with this one right here. Germany with the one hairpin turn. Yeah. Alright, so A is accelerate. So that's just you versus me, right? That's my guess. Good engine noise. Ooh, I like that you lean while turning. Yeah, yeah. There's no music, which is yeah. disappointing. Yeah, already, already with that sin. Woo! <laughs> well, that seems pretty smooth, though. How'd you go so fast? I don't know. I picked same, well, I picked a different bike than you did. Maybe I picked one with a better engine. Mm, that's kind of annoying. What's that? I mean, that's every F1 game we've played recently has been engine noise. Music now. Only it's in the menu. Really well animated. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, the. The animation frames for your movement are pretty smooth, so it looks pretty decent. The the grass on the sides of the track and the walls, you're right, really remind me of Mario Kart. Like, don't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, okay, so the background does move a little as you make turns. What's weird is it doesn't like 360 move like that same piece of the crowd stays in front of you the whole time <laughs> oh no there it went german can you read Good any days. of it super weird what's it mean you don't know i don't even know if it means anything probably not Grass. I mean, it's probably just a brand. Or it's supposed to represent a brand. Good days. L. So B is a break. And no, there's a shock behind that. German. I am kind of way in front of you, aren't I? My guess is if I slowed down or stopped for some reason, it wouldn't take much for you to catch me, though. Yeah, the lack of a soundtrack, again, just like the other games we've played recently that were racing games, just like, why? Why would you not add music? Like, I get it's a simulation, and, like, an actual racer wouldn't be listening to music, but that doesn't mean I don't want to listen to it in a video game. Like, it's a video game. 
And just listening to engine noise is boring. So your timer, your lap, your gear, your speed, which isn't kilometers per hour apparently. I got a beard. <laughs> and look at you all disgraced, you won't even take your helmet off. Played pretty decently. Yeah. We'll start. No, 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 no. No, you got first player controller. We'll take turns. Come on. Let's go. Single player campaign, let's see what she's about. Pick can my I, bike. The one I pick. Can I see the list? Of what? Mm -hmm. Bikes and oh, people. Yeah, let me pull it up here. Alright, so let's see. I had picked the RVG 500, which had a normal engine, a good frame, and a good suspension. I don't know whether good is worse than normal or not. I mean, you can pick the Sagavri, which had the exact same stats as mine. So I don't know what the uh, you know big difference was there. I must have just got ahead of you at the beginning and stayed ahead of you. I think good is probably less than normal. Because there's nothing in here that's bad or poor. So I bet it's good, normal, excellent. So you probably want a normal... Not normal, good, excellent? I don't... I mean, uh, maybe normal good excellent. It doesn't say. Mm -mm. Nope, nothing to indicate. What do you got? You want, what'd you pick for bike? I think I'm going to go with Ingram because I picked the uh, ZTR 500. Okay, normal good good. And he's excellent on normal. Sure, go for it. Sounds like a plan. Let's go with that. <laughs> oh boy how do you know that's like ripped straight out of sim city do you remember the sim city keyboard vaguely before you hit enter hold on Trying to find a picture of it. Keyboard. Yeah, I guess we could try keyboard. Yeah, it looks like it's straight off Sin City, like they just ripped the thing out of it. I'm not gonna find out. Oh, well, that's. Yeah, forget about it. I don't know. If I can find it, I'll look it up. I didn't mean to skip that. Mm. I mean, leave it alone for now. Hey, we don't have any money. I don't know that we could do anything. Yeah, it's zero dollars. Didn't want, oh, qualifier lap. <laughs> so you gotta do a qualifier lap much as many simulation racing games do. So this determines your pole position in the actual race. Or is it gonna be like the other one where you just, you have to get a certain time. While that's possible. Oh, Jesus. What? Lots of curves. So many. Yeah. Do your best. It's like Cub Scouts. <laughs> Excuse me, you showed me 
a left U-turn and then turned right before the left U-turn. Well, you know, it expects you to know what's coming. It gives you a mini-map. Where the turns overlap each other. It does remind me a little bit of Road Rash, the sprite for the guy. But it's definitely going to be less fun than Road Rash. There's just something viscerally entertaining about hitting a dude with a crowbar. God damn. I was going to say, you have to do all three laps. Son of a... What was our name? Last place, that's what our name is. No, not quite. 14. Not quite. All right. There's the keyboard. What is that? I didn't make that, I didn't make that <laughs> screenshot. I'm just showing it to you for the purposes of being like, look, it's the SimCity keyboard. It's kind of funny. Oh, you can go through people. Thank well, you. Well, that's good. Until you hit someone, watch you'll bounce off of them. No, well, you just went right through. Well, that's convenient. At least they give you that. They're like, look, ah, we get everyone's going to be piled up. You don't need to bounce off other cars. There's no damage meter, so it's a little better in that respect. We definitely play games with damage meters. So you can tune up your bike and change things on it. You just can't... Uh... Apparently you can wreck! I figured, based on the screeching when you turn at too high of a speed... Did you wreck on somebody else, or what? No, I just turned too turned fast. Turned too hard. Okay, well, that's new. Well, now you're in last place forever. You're ready to see this bogus turn. This one. So the mini-map shows first place as a gray dot, and you're never going to catch them. <laughs> Thanks. Nice Look, I'm impressed that you're actually confidence. managing to pass people. Remember last time we played a racing game, like, we couldn't do anything. Like, once you, like, started, you're like, and eh, everybody's gone, and I'm done. So at least you're still seeing humans on the track. Oops. You wrecked again. Why'd you wreck again? Are you applying brake at all? No. Well, maybe you should apply brake on those two. Just letting go. It worked last time. <laughs> I think you did wreck off the guy. No? Was he bouncing into someone both times? I wasn't. Didn't really see. Pay that close of attention, I guess. What an awful decision that some of these companies make. Like, okay, we're gonna make this game. We're gonna put any music, just loud engine noise the whole damn time. Except for the menu. You can have music in the menus, but that's it. Hmm. I think he's right. I think Rob's right. You do, I think, wreck on other people because you sure seem to be uh, touching other sprites when you do wreck. Although I noticed they don't wreck, which is bullshit. <laughs> Like, I don't see them getting back on their bike afterwards. Just you. Also, I purposely drove into that person, the most recent one, to see if that's what was causing me to wreck, and it was, so. Or at least it seems that way. Mm -hmm. Sure you did. We believe you. 15 out of 16. I wonder if you actually get any money for that. No, probably not. Hopeless. Hopeless. <laughs> wow, that's awfully rude. That's awesome. You are hopeless. Look at you. Zero points. Oh, you're the first one to get zero points, too. Well, I safe stated. Winnings? So. Oh. Wow, you get 20 grand for... I mean, that's pretty decent, really. 
<laughs> well, we can, with 20 grand, we could do something to the bike. What do we want to do? Camry. Uh, yeah. No. 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 Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, let's do something. Why not? Better rear suspension. All right, well, round two. Might go at it, I suppose. I wonder if it's putting you in Japan or not. Nope. Brazil. Now oh, you're doing qualifying a lot. Yeah. This yeah. is in Brazil. This is Australia. I say, how the hell do you know I'm in Brazil? Well, I thought it was Brazil because I remember reading Brazil and I thought it was right after the Japan one, but I think it was actually under it instead of next to it. But I know it's Australia because that's the Australian flag, and I'm willing to bet Brazil does not normally fly the Australian flag. One would not think, no. Okay. Where's that put me, I think? 14th? I don't know. 5th? Yeah. That's not bad! Out of 16 people? Wilson. Wilson! Have you seen Castaway? Yes. I haven't seen that in a while. It was one of the few movies Louis has sat all the way through. Which was weird, because he was <laughs> little at the time. <laughs> He's not exactly like a... Patient person. Well, Louie's not exactly a patient person, but it's not like it's a fast-paced movie. Or a kid's movie. Like, there's not a cartoon. A, there's no animation. Dude yeah, it's just a dude on, on an island. island. <laughs> but he got super fascinated with it, I remember. Like, he watched it all the way through, basically. I'm Damn, I sure was doing really good for a second there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he, it was you and me watching it, and Louie started watching it after he got stranded. And then just watched it all the way through with us. It was a good movie. Yeah, Castaway's an awesome movie. Tom Hanks does a damn good job. That was, uh... I remember my, the, the most heinous part of that movie is he had, like, an infection in his tooth. And he, like, busted his own tooth out with the ice skate and a rock. Mm. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's not like it even show. Oh, there I went. It's not like it even showed much, you know? It was just him hitting himself in the mouth of the skate and the rock. I'm like, God, that that's uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> I mean, you do what you have to do. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you want to live and all that. The question is, if you were stranded on an island, would you try to get back to society? <sighs> that's debatable. Because, like... Oh, people always talk about paradise, and I feel like paradise for me is, like, living alone on my island. Oh, there is bumping. I'm bumping on him. Damn it. But, like, I don't know. I like the idea of modern medicine and everything, you know, guaranteed, but, like, I also really am interested in the idea of just making my own shelter and going you. hunting and gardening. You rat bastards. I was doing so good. You are so engrossed in this game. I can't. I'm, I want to get in. Because uh, I was in like third place at one point. I was doing good. Hopeless. Um, yeah, beamed. What place did it put you in? In like 15th. Gross. I was. I was in like third place and then just bam and all went to shit. Um, I mean, I'd, look at it from Tom Hanks' point of view. Same thing. Like, if I was trying to get home to your mother, then yes, I would try to come home. If I didn't have you, you know, family and you and your brother and your mom, then no, I'd probably just chill on the island and be like, eh, fuck it. There are worse places to die. <laughs> Would you build shelter? Like, would you try to survive? Oh, well, yeah. I wouldn't want... I don't, I don't want to die. I just don't think I'd be super concerned with getting home. I don't want to race this. You want to do some more two-player racing? Sure. 
Actually, I'm kind of curious what free practice is. My guess is it's just you practicing courses, yeah. Yeah, sure, we'll give this a go. Why not? <sighs> Let's go for the most hectic looking one. Oh god, why? I got him. So content. He just has to be touching. Snest dog. Well, is this, I think it's monkey that calls Ken mini snest or miss snest. Yeah. yeah, it's real sad not to have music. It's a real mistake. Watching it doesn't feel fast until you start to turn, and then it makes you, like, the turns move so quickly comparative to just the straightaways. So it, it, it kind of gives the feeling of fast, but not all the time. I don't know. I mean, graphically, it looks decent enough. The sound design's okay, minus the fact that there's no music. Controls aren't awful. It's not a bad game. It's just not... Good. Yeah, it's just not great or no, anything. Oh, I didn't want to peep in there. Like, I think it's just, like, it's a normal game. It doesn't do anything exceptionally. Uh, it doesn't it's, do anything exceptionally good or bad, I don't think. It's Minus, there's graphically no really good, I think. Yeah, I think the graphics and look really good. And the fact that when you're playing single player, it doesn't keep it stuck in split screen. Mm. We have ran into a couple that do that, haven't we? It's a real oopsie. Mine's Spain. I mean, is that the Spanish flag? I don't remember. Oh, I don't know what the Spanish flag looks like, honestly. Well, considering that says Gracia. Yeah, I would say probably Spain, then. I mean, red and yellow. that i That's what I know about Spain, is red and yellow. So, yeah, sure, Spain. Yeah, look, Best guess. Look up the Spanish flag. Oh. Uh. There we go, that's my best time. Yep, that's Spain. Cool. Look at you, you knew what you were talking about. I mean, I typically know my flags. Sounds like shit to me. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing? I was in free practice, but... Now you're gonna race. Look, I get it. Apparently you're gonna be first player, because my thing's stuck under the it's table. It's kind of boring. boring. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, it is not as good as, uh, like, I want an arcade racing game, and these just aren't them. They're fucking simulation racing games, which at least this one has a two-player mode. Of course, it's only one versus two-player. I don't understand why we can't both race in the full races. Uh, that bottom left one looks awful. France. I don't know which one I chose. Okay. That was your randomizer. Yep. You picked an awful looking one. <laughs> oh boy. Italy? Wait, I'm top right. Yeah, you're on top. Yeah, it slows you down something fierce, doesn't it? Here comes that other sharp one. And Yui. 
Yeah, steering's actually not that hard. It's in the races, it's the other people that make it awful because then you wreck on them. And once you wreck, you're in a bad way. Again, I still don't know why they don't appear to wreck because you flip over, but they sure as hell don't. I think this one's Italy. I mean, I tend to agree with you. Red, yellow, green, I'm pretty sure that's Italy. It's red, white, green. Where are you getting yellow? I'm colorblind. I don't know why I said yellow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> I'm colorblind. Mm -hmm. I found really funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is bad. Welcome back. It's just boring. I don't... Yeah. Like, give me a two-player where we can race everybody. That's... Whenever your brother plays Mario Kart with me, he always kind of wants to just race me. And I'm like, that's boring. Let's race with everybody. It's more interesting that way. It's not fun just to race one other person. It's boring. Oh, I'm just not... Not huge into racing games. I, like, arcade power-up racing games are cool. Yeah. But... And that's not what all these damn simulation ones are, which is a real disappointment. Hold on, wait, I want to see. Which did I select? Did I select your one? I did! No, it's Hungary. You're right, this is Italy. Mm hmm. Italy's left to right, not bottom to top. Okay. Well. Yeah, the colors. Yeah. It's kind of like. Belgium? Is that the other one that has black, red, yellow? Jesus, I don't have any idea. I think that's right. Look, dude, you're lucky I knew any of them. What we got? We got Japan, Australia. Yeah, what the hell's the one that looks like the American flag with the moon and the star on it? Uh, I kind of just want to say Turkey. It's probably wrong. I like how this is Europe. Europe. Malaysia. Okay. I've never seen the Malaysian flag. And then we got, what was it, Spain? Yeah, so... Japan, Australia, Australia, Malaysia, Spain, Italy, Europe, apparently, Germany. France. No, because that, that's, that's France. France. Oh, shit. And this one's Hungary. Norway? No. No. I don't, I fucking, I don't know. Holland. Okay, Holland. Britain. Brazil. Brazil. I don't have any idea on that last one. Okay, South, South Africa. Africa. There's a real lack of geographical knowledge in this room. We need to study up on our where in the world is Carmen San Diego knowledge. <laughs> Looking up. Why? Because honestly, flag quiz sounds more entertaining right now than this game. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. You're awful. Are you going to tell me I'm wrong? Yeah, a little. Oh, yeah. Bless you. That's kind of funny. Snoozle dog. What's it like? That's a sweet flag, though. Oh, have you seen the... Uh, it's like Gears of War with Isle of Man shade. flag? Isle of Man, no. They have my favorite flag. I'll take your word on it. Well, duh, it's my favorite flag. Oh, man. Jesus. That's a wild turn. I don't want like that. I love man. I am trying to do a qualifying lap. Fucking dirt. And I eat dirt for like two seconds. I'll go back to this. I, I, I feel like it's poor, actually. Nope. I can go up. Wow. I don't know. Any of these. Where's the Isle Man? Oh. That reminds me of the Sicily flag that Danny brought us. Except it's got a face in the middle of its three legs. Mm -hmm. That one has spurs on it. The Isle of Man flag is just three armored legs. 
Oh shit, I pull position really high on this one. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know the history behind it. The Isle of Man is a self-governing British crown dependency in the Irish Sea between England and Ireland. It's known for its rugged coastline, medieval castles, and rural landscape. Rising to a mountainous center, and in the capital, Douglas, the Manx Museum traces the Icelandic, the island's Celtic and Viking heritage. Celtic. The Isle of Man is a major annual cross-country motorcycle race around the island. Oh, the Isle of Man TT. Oh. oh, they just have one big castle. Castle Russian. Castle Russian? I mean, it's spelled R-U-S-H-E-N. I can't think of any other pronunciation. That's fair. <laughs> like, that might not be the pronunciation, but... Ooh, Gibraltar's Damn, flag is also really hell. cool. Look at Gibraltar's flag. Wait, I'll wait. Damn, look at everybody in a pack, man. I get, you don't get passed by one dude, you get passed by like nine. Oh. Well, I thought I was doing okay for a while, and everything just went to shit. Alright, fuck it. You show me Gibraltar's castle with a key. Oh, it's kind of cool. Alright, um... Let's just score this bitch. Graphically, I think the game actually looks pretty decent. <laughs> like it's, I agree. It's, it's unfortunate. It's really impressive, actually. It's unfortunate that the game isn't more fun. Um, because yeah, like the animation seems pretty smooth. The the scrolling in the background, all the pixel art and everything, the sprite work, all looks pretty decent. Good bright colors. It's not dark or dingy. Mm. You know, it's just. It's good looking game. Sound design is outside of the fact that there's no music during a race. Awful. I love this part. <laughs> Cracks me up. Um, control is fine. It's it just doesn't have anything to make it fun. Like I don't know. It, give me a weapon. I want road rash, god damn it. I want to club the guy next to me with a fucking cattle prod. Or a chain or an iron bar or something, for God's sakes. Uh, just, this isn't cutting it, unfortunately. Yeah. Any thoughts on your end past what I said? No. It's not like it's bad. No, it's not it's a bad just game. It's just boring. boring. Yeah. It's and it doesn't have to be. There's no reason that it should be boring. It looks good. It doesn't sound good. I mean, the, it the, sounds the okay. The menu music is annoying. fine. The menu music is good. It sounds like Mario music, like Mario Kart. Yeah. Just it's for some reason it's not in the race, which is stupid. Hey, Tez nerd, how you doing? Yeah, it looks like a Road Rash copy without the fun of Road Rash. Yeah. That's I said that actually. I was like it actually reminds me quite a bit of Road Rash. I think it looks better than Road Rash. Um, Road Rash did not look that good until you got to the 32-bit uh, 3DO one, and then Road Rash looked really good. And that's what it kind of reminds me of. The 16-bit Road Rash, not so much. It's just, it's unfortunate, yeah. Because it's, it's, you're right, it's not bad, it's just not fun. So it kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. I'm also giving it a thumbs down. Yeah, we're not giving this the full hour of play, but you know what we are going to do? <laughs> play Road Rash. Hell yeah, we are! Oops, that headphones on. Where is the old Sagagenesis? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Road Rash 2. That's where it's at. I'm also not a huge fan of Road Rash. Tough shit. Oh, I, I, okay. <laughs> Grab a so, controller. So aggressive. Yeah. Now here's here's a game worth playing. <laughs> uh, game options, baby. Set player mode. Mono is mono. Split screen. 
What? You want a weapon? Club or a chain? You're gonna go chain, I'll go club. Uh, yeah. Let's race this nonsense. I don't have any idea what does what. Uh, B goes. A is your chain. Which means Y is probably your break. If you even want to try. Yeah, see, this game doesn't look anywhere near as good. It's much grainier, much choppier. At least it has music in the f***ing race, though. You're never going to catch me. Holy balls. <laughs> it's a little slidey. You barely touched the turn, and you just... <laughs> did you get hit by a car? I did. Yeah, this one you can hit things. The wrecks are generally more entertaining, too. And at the end of the race, there's always, well, at least in the single player mode, there's this, like, animation. Oh, I hit a deer. Plump, plump. Nice. God. Drags me for, like, ten minutes. You can run me over if you make it to me. Come back. I'm gonna hit you with my club. I'm going too fast. I cannot control myself. Yeah, that was... You, you say come back like I have a choice. Part of Road West was always just the uncontrollability of it, and that's also the awful frame rate. Like, the game is super choppy. In, in split screen, at least. It gets better in single player, but... Yeah, she's a rough one. There's no mini-map. God, it was fun, though, as a kid. There, there doesn't need to be a map. It's a straight road. Like, you just race from point A to point B. There's no lap. Oh, there you are. No, that wasn't. Oh, yeah, it is you. Come here, I want to hit you with a club. I'd like you to not, please. But I want to. That's the whole point of the game. God, get up there. I can see. Oh, God, car. That was sick. Would you bounce off of something? Yeah. Animal or rock? I don't know. Something. It just made me do a jump. And we both Thank got God. it. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, now we're going the same speed. Come here. I want to get you. I don't. My billy club thirsts for blood. Once my sword is drawn, it cannot be put away until it tastes the blood of my enemy. Oh, yeah. Cops are in this one. I can beat the cop up. Come here, copper. Or not. Oh, you got busted. <laughs> yeah, here's the animations. <laughs> you tried to drive off me, yank you off your bike. Yeah. Player B defeats player A in their head-to-head -head battle. Yeah, the 16-bit road rashes weren't amazing, but they were fun. I mean, it's a game of its time, you know. Mm -hmm. But the 3DO one, uh, which did get ported to the PlayStation, now that one looked really good. And it was the one that had Soundgarden for its soundtrack uh, and a bunch of other bands. But Soundgarden was the standout one, and it was really, really good. I don't know. I guess in the end, the point is GP1 is not worth playing. It's a solid two thumbs down. Uh, it's Wednesday. Let's see. Saturday night. What are we going to play? We got some choices here. We got the Incredible Crash Test Dummies. Mm. Football Fury. Mm. Kendo Rage. Mm. Or Movie Night with Last Action Hero. Let's go with Movie Night. Movie Night with Last Action Hero? Okay. That's an Arnold Schwarzenegger flick. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's really bad fire call. I mean, most of them aren't yeah, good. most of them aren't great. So we'll be <laughs> back on Saturday night. We're going to have to watch a movie between now and then. I'm all right um, with that. Huh? I'm all right with that. So that's it. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Goober, Tesnerd, anyone else who lurked and, and watched and or watches this in the future after I throw it on YouTube. Thanks a lot for giving us some watches and views and you know all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on Saturday night. Last action here. Have a good one, y'all. See you guys.